This is Matthew McConaughey. Natalie Portman. James Patterson. Mike Lee in Black. And you are listening to Five Questions with Dan Chamel. Rando, welcome to Five Questions. Thank you so much, Dan. Happy to be here. How did your experiences founding the LCC Theater Company in college spark your desire to become an actor? Uh, well, it was... Um, my experience with that company was my first time ever acting on stage. I came in or I co-founded it uh, with the intent of ha having these plays that I wrote uh, produced, you know, and, and actually performed on stage. And uh, so we started, uh, me and two other friends started this, and we all considered ourselves writers first and foremost. And we, uh, we, we, uh, created this theater company, you know, held auditions on campus and, and created this troupe. And, um, and when we were casting our plays, there were like small roles that needed to be filled. And uh, we figured, well, we're here. We might as well uh, put ourselves in these plays. And I was a narrator for uh, the first play that I wrote that we performed. Uh, but, but I wrote it so that the narrator is actually kind of a you know, weaves in and out of the play and, and is almost a character as well. And um, and it was just such a, a an electrifying experience for me. It was just so fun to actually like say something that I wrote and to get like a me an immediate response from the audience uh, through laughter. And it was just such a great feeling. And I think, uh, you know, from there on out, it was like, oh gosh, I wanna keep doing this, you know, whether it be just for fun or or maybe a career down the road, it's just something that I just really love, and uh, and it, it's just so gratifying. And uh, so, uh, yeah, it just kind of planted that seed for me. Yeah, what I found is that a lot of people like the feedback and really don't like that feedback at the same time. Like authors, you know, I come from the author world, I do yeah. books like reading some of the Amazon reviews can be pretty brutal. I mean, some of the bullying that happens on Instagram, some of the, you know, tough, like, you know, New York times reviews of like some of the, some of the shows and, and the yeah. movies, it's, it's gotta be very stressful too, even though you feel like you put in your best work and that you enjoyed the experience and learned something from it and made new connections in your industry. Mm -hmm. It's still like, well, kind of hope that people like it because yeah. you know, the, the critics do have, some sort of impact on the future of that series, for instance. For sure, for sure. I think you know you go into things with the best intentions, and you and and you you, you do your best, and uh, you know you try. For me, I try to, I tr you know I tell myself whether it be true or not that that's all that matters. You know, it's it's the experience of doing it, and uh, if the experience was great, then that's it. That you know that that that's all that matters, and 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 then you know how it turns out or how people receive it. That's at that point it's beyond my control, and and of course you you care, you know you want people to enjoy your work, but uh, but you you know you have to try to not uh, you know put your own self worth in the in the opinions of others, and uh, and again it's a human, it's a natural human kind of. Uh, instinct, but uh, but I think it helps to to really remember how far making it and remember uh, you know the intention behind it, and and you're gonna you're gonna have you you have to make things that suck. You have to do things that suck every now and then, and uh, you know that that sharpens your sword. You know, so you, so you could Absolutely. go out again. Yeah. That is the best mindset. You have to detach yourself from outcomes because that's, you were saying, it's out of your control. Like you just focus on creating the best product as possible, great movie, yeah. show, whatnot. And then, you know, it's kind of up to the world to see if they like it or not. Yeah, and yeah. What are some of the ways you incorporated your Asian American heritage in your projects? Um, well, I mean, it, it, it comes with me with every project I do because it's who I am. And I think it, you know, it, 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 every, every project, whether it's overtly Asian American or not, it, you know, becomes an Asian American project if I'm a part of it. And, uh, uh, but now that I'm in a position where I have a little bit more uh, control and a little bit more of a say than I used to, 
uh, uh, I do, I am very mindful of, uh, of making sure that things that I play are, uh, you know, come from a, a come from a real place, an authentic place in terms of, you know, my Asian American identity. And, uh, and I'm, I'm very mindful of the, the types of images I put out there. And, and, you know, I want to definitely like, uh, uh, do good by the community, you know, but at the same time, I want to, uh, you know, do different things and, and, and take risks and try things. And, uh, uh, but always, I always keep, uh, the community in mind with every, every, uh, every decision and, and, and every project, you know, I started a, a production company, uh, focused on, uh, with two friends of mine, uh, who actually came from that theater group, uh, in college. And, uh, and we've all been in this industry for a while now. And we joined forces again and started this company with the focus of, uh, telling stories from Asian American perspective, perspectives and, uh, 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 yeah, so it's kind of, you know, it's, it's just who I am. So it, it, it expresses itself throughout my life in, in, in different ways and definitely in my career. I love that. And it's yeah. good that you can be a good role model for other people who are maybe growing up and they aspire to be an actor or just to be successful or do something in general. And yeah. but it also comes, it's this difficult balance of selecting the right projects and, and challenging yourself. So, but that's also what makes life and, and, career development fun too is to, yeah, to have these sure. these big challenges that you need to overcome and and that's that's how people grow as actors that's how people grow in any field really yeah and i think the key you said the key word for me is fun you know like it, it just kind of just follow the fun you know and for me it's fun to to, to you know to represent a, the community it's fun to not do stereotypical like overtly stereotypical roles it's fun to like to to try to to do new things and to uh to uh you know it's just i i think that's always been kind of the north star for me is just to like to do what's fun how did you overcome both not having an agent and your parents not being fully bought into your acting career when you were first starting out yeah that's that's uh well you know for me as far as my parents were concerned it was it was always a letdown whenever I would mention this this pursuit you know uh, and this this dream and this passion because they would always kind of shoot it down quickly and it at a certain point I had to kind of do it with a, without them knowing you know I kind of like stopped sharing things when I was first starting because. Uh, because it was too discouraging for me to to not to to be reminded that that I didn't have their support, you know, um, and I and you know and and over time I understood where they were coming from. It is a they they understood that this is a very hard business and they didn't want me to suffer, you know, and uh, uh, but uh, but in order for me to 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 get to where I wanted to go, I, I kind of had to have horse blinders on because I, I just didn't. I, I, I was too sensitive, you know, I, I just couldn't, uh, I, I, discouragement was the last thing I needed to hear, you know, I, I, all, I, j I needed encouragement because it was so hard. And so I, I didn't really share with them, like my little victories and my, you know, and, and definitely I didn't share with them, you know, whenever I'd, I'd go through tough times, which was often, you know, um, uh, so, so yeah, I think that for me, it was just kind of, creating my own tunnel and, and, and just moving forward in that tunnel, you know, and, uh, and as far as getting reps were concerned, you know, it's very similar It's when you're first starting out, you don't have a lot of experience, you know, you, you go to a, a, an agent or a manager and, and, you know, they, they don't believe in you either because they have nothing to believe in really at that point, you know, so. You got to so, see it from both sides. That's really what yeah. I think you're nailing right now is, the yeah. other side is like, yeah, of course, like I'm going to pursue this or I'm going to do this. Yet, yeah. you know, from your parents' side, they're like, I want to just protect my son. Yeah. Right? I mean, I got yeah. that too when I, when I was first starting out too. Just make sure you hold on to this full-time job. I don't know about yeah. what you do on yeah. nights and weekends. And yeah. then the same thing with the agent. I got rejected by 70 out of 70 agents early on and yeah. eventually got one. But, you know, from their standpoint, it's like, man, eh, it's not proven entity, a little bit more risky. We have other people who yeah. are less risky. Let's go with them. So it's, it's also yeah. like kind of empathizing with their 
perspective. For sure, for sure. And uh, and I think it it makes it a little bit easier when when you can do that, you know, because you un- you, you understand that it's not coming from a malicious place. It's not about you so much. Uh, you know, it's about uh, what you know it's about what you what you've done thus far and and the things that you have to do to get there you know so for me it was like oh i'm just going to do a bunch of student films i'm going to do a bunch of you know i'm going to make my own stuff i'm going to oh i have a background in writing i'm going to write my own stuff and shoot it you know uh the technology had caught up you know at that point where we could shoot things for you know for for uh, for no money you know as long as you have a phone type of thing and 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 uh, so i was always making stuff for a real long period just very low budget things and and those things did help me in in uh, in a number of ways they helped me uh, you know, when when something would pop, you know, people would find out in the industry and I'd go into an audition and they'd be like, hey, I saw that short you made, you know, and then and then in other ways, it just kept me acting, you know, and that's what I love to do. And and for me, you know, it, that first experience on that stage, feeling that electricity, it just like kept me doing that without having to necessarily get paid for it or or, you know, uh, career it, it it kept me doing what i loved which was really really uh, uh the most important thing for me at that time yeah and the key takeaway from what everything you just said is always be doing something like even if you're in between jobs like a lot of actors are in between jobs a lot of professionals are quitting jobs and then starting new jobs so like do something during a freelance work create a project yeah. because that's only going to help you you know don't just yeah be stagnant there, you know, hoping that the next gig comes. It's like, you have to keep working because you don't know, especially now with the internet, who's going to be seeing some of this work and then people might find you and then that creates opportunities. So you only figure this out as you're getting older, when you're younger, you don't really understand, especially without the internet, you don't really understand how that all plays out. But the more work you're out there, those, each one of those is a touch point that could potentially be shared with the right person who brings you into audition. For sure. For, and at the very least, you know, it keeps your spirits up to have something to do you know, absolutely. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. And what did you learn about the world we live in while listening to and reenacting people's stories in your new show, true story? Gosh. Uh, well, I think the, 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 my favorite thing about the show, and there's a lot of things I love is that we get to hear these stories from quote unquote, everyday people, you know, they're, they're, they're not celebrities they're not, uh, famous people. They're, 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 they're people that you know normally you'd you'd maybe you'd pass by on the street and not not have a second thought you know and i think it's uh the big lesson there and it's a lesson we all know but it's it's something that we should be reminded of is that everyone has an amazing story you know everyone has uh uh, uh stories in their life that are worthy of a biopic you know uh and uh and i think that sitting there with my friend Ed and connecting with these people that we never knew uh, before. That was, it was just such a, uh, such a, such a gift for, for, for me and for Ed. And, uh, and I think that it's something that, you know, we should all do a little more often is just connect with people who, who maybe we, we normally wouldn't connect with people who might be different from us. And uh, you know, it's, it, it, it's something we all, you know, know, and there, there is a, you know, people could say it's corny, but it's so, it's so true. It's, it's, it's just so, it's a wonderful feeling, number one, but it also, uh, you know, you also learn that, again, corny, but it's true. We're, we ultimately are all the same, you know, we, 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 we go through similar things, we, we go through similar emotions, we, we, you know, at our core, there's a lot of goodness, and, uh, uh, and a lot of, you know, pain and shame and, and mistakes. And, 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 and when, when, when someone shares that with you and, and is vulnerable, vulnerable enough to share that with you, it's like a real connection is made. And, uh, and I think that it's a real beautiful thing. And, and, uh, and I hope that people, you know, really feel that with this show. Yeah, I love that. And everyone's always adding new chapters to their yeah. own books. You know, everyone yeah. has their own book. Not everyone will publish their own book, but in a sense, you know, everyone has different phases. And right. a lot of these themes that people struggle with and deal with throughout their lives are very common 
among everyone. Yeah. Because like you're saying, we're all humans and storytelling yeah. is like the most important art. I mean, that's, that's how you right. get jobs. That's how you, you know, obviously act and tell stories and write and do just about yeah. anything. So I think communication skills, especially now yeah. are more important as well as embracing diversity, like you said, which is especially over the past two years, that's become 10 times more important. And yeah. that's what that yeah. type of challenge connecting with people who might, you know, look different than you come from a different place and background can yeah. really, it, you know, in, in, from an actor standpoint or director standpoint, that can give you new ideas too. Of, of oh, new, totally. New projects. Totally. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I came away from the, from, from that experience of sitting with those, those people and the, hearing their stories. I, I, I came away just so inspired, you know, so inspired to, to, uh, to find more stories like that and to, and to figure out ways to help get those stories out into the world. And, and, um, and yeah, yeah, it was, it was, a it's, I just, I'm just so proud of the show. I, I love the show and, uh, uh, yeah, I hope people love it. And what's your best piece of career advice? Hmm. You know, I used to, when people would ask me for career advice, I used to say, don't quit, like just never quit, but I don't know. I kind of take that back. I kind of think, uh, if it's not bringing you joy, it's okay to quit, you know, it's okay to quit. And, it, and, and, and if it was meant to be, you'll come back to it, you know? Uh, but I do think that one thing that has helped me tremendously is uh, maybe about 15 years ago, a, li a little after I started my acting journey and was having a really hard time I started this practice every day at the end of the day of writing three things that I'm grateful for. And I'm sure you've heard a version of this numerous times, but, uh, but just doing that and making it so that no matter how bad my day it was, just, you know, literally it could be like, I woke up this morning, you know, uh, I, I ate food, you know, uh, uh, just whatever it may be every day, three things. And, uh, it just, and I think the practice of writing it for me, uh, it, it kind of forced me to, to actually sit down and think about it, you know, and to see it on paper, as opposed to, you know, just kind of this general kind of gratitude, which is great, but, uh, but, the, but incorporating it into a, into a practice, I think, really kind of started to do something to my mind, you know, it started to kind of, uh, uh, it, it just, I, I, I really genuinely feel it made me a more positive person, you know, uh, just doing that. Um, I love that. And for me, yeah. like, I just, I mean, part of how I become happy, I just stopped watching the news. <laughs> I have a whole theory yeah. about this too. I think the most important news stories come to you through your connection. Yeah, I think if I that agree. much, your, your mom will call you or whatever. So I think I stopped watching, I watched the news like, way too often during yeah. the past you know year and it was just making me miserable because it's the same it's that keeps reinforcing itself of all these bad things happening sure. once you shut that off oh my you, god it's like yes. it's just it does once you like remove that and you're not listening to it anymore and you start to you know do some of the, the practices that you had just said you know in terms yeah. of writing down and maybe you know a lot of people have gratitude journals that's been a big yeah. thing recently it does change your perspective and it just starts to feel healthier yeah, and, and another thing related to to what you said about the news that I did, and I know it's not for everyone, but uh, but if if it's something that you know, if if it's something that you can do, is is quit social media, get off of everything. I did that during the pandemic, and gosh, did it change? Because and in part because I was getting so much news from social media, you know, and uh, uh, and it was a constant barrage of news and opinions and, and, uh, and it wasn't good for me, you know? Well, that's a big deal coming from you because part of, you know, how, I mean, sadly, how actors and actresses are evaluated now, you know, social media following engagement, it's almost like required if you're going to do a show or a movie that you're posting about. So I, that's a big yeah. deal that you were, shut, you're shutting it off. Yeah. Yeah. I was really worried about that. You know, I was really worried about that, but then I just thought, well, you know, it, 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 it it definitely isn't me, you know, and it's something that 
I, I've tried for years to be comfortable with. And it just, you know, it's like wearing a shoe that doesn't fit for, you know, for years and years and years, you know, uh, it just, it, it was always uh, a little bit painful and, uh, and at the very least annoying. And, uh, uh, and yeah, just for me, and uh, it, it was a move that, you know, took me a while to, to make. And then I made it and I was like, oh my gosh, I felt like, you know, Julie Andrews and the sound of music just you know, <laughs> dancing in the hills. I mean, it was like, it was, it was uh, one of the best moves I, I've made for myself uh, in my life. Well, that's good advice. And thank you so much for being on the show. Of course. Thank you, Dan.